Making a nutritional recommendation for every pet is the key. Depending on each clinic's protocol, support staff such as veterinary technicians or nurses may also be involved in nutritional assessments, especially for dispensing recommended diets. Sound nutrition is key to enhancing and optimizing a pet's longevity and quality of life. Clients look to their veterinarian for nutritional advice, and surveys repeatedly indicate that they want their veterinarian's input when it comes to deciding what to feed their pet. A nutritional assessment should be a part of every veterinary visit because incorporating nutritional assessments into regular patient care is critical for maintaining optimal pet health. The screening evaluation described in this video requires very little additional time, even with all the demands of a busy veterinary practice. Currently, a pet's examination includes temperature, pulse, respiration, and pain assessment where indicated. However, a fifth vital assessment should be part of every veterinary visit, nutrition. It's easy to incorporate the simple one, two, three step nutritional assessment into standard appointment times. And there are many tools currently available to the veterinary team to make this job easier. Let's examine the easy to use one, two, three step approach to a nutritional assessment. Step one occurs at the time of check-in. The client is handed a short nutritional history form and is asked to complete it. Ideally, the nutritional history form would be sent via email to the client in advance of their visit. This saves valuable time during the check-in process and ensures more accurate information. Another time-saving suggestion is to ask the client to take a photo of their pet's food with their mobile device. The pet is weighed and this information, as well as the nutritional history, are entered into the patient record in preparation for the office visit. For cats, the weigh-in should be done in the consultation room to minimize stress and anxiety. In the second step, a screening evaluation is done. The veterinarian reviews the nutritional history along with the pet's medical history and assesses body condition. Two methods are currently used to assess body condition in every patient. Body condition scoring evaluates body fat and muscle condition scoring evaluates muscle mass. A variety of scoring systems are available and practices are encouraged to adopt one system and use it consistently throughout the hospital. Three easy steps help us perform body condition scoring in the standing cat. Check the ribs by running your flat hand along the cat's rib cage on both sides. The ribs should be palpable without excess fat coverage. Fat coverage is also assessed over the lumbar area and the pelvis. Check the side profile by viewing the cat while you are at the same level. The abdomen should have a tucked up appearance and the abdominal fat pad should be minimal. Check the top profile by looking at the cat from overhead. The waist should be visible behind the ribs. Muscle condition scoring is relatively new and will require some practice to distinguish normal from abnormal. Evaluation of muscle mass includes visual examination and palpation over the temporal bones, scapulae, lumbar vertebrae, and the pelvic bones. Muscle mass is scored as normal or abnormal, which in turn is subdivided into mild, moderate, or severe wasting. Early identification of mild muscle wasting is valuable for early identification of problems and successful intervention. As with the cat, three easy steps help us perform body condition scoring in the dog. Check the ribs by running your flat hand along the dog's rib cage on both sides. The ribs should be easily palpable without excess fat coverage. Fat coverage is also assessed over the lumbar area and the pelvis. Check the abdomen. An abdominal tuck should be evident and inguinal fat should be minimal. Check the top profile by looking at the dog from overhead. 
the waist should be easily observed behind the ribs. The procedure for muscle condition scoring includes visual examination and palpation over the temporal bones, scapulae, lumbar vertebrae, and the pelvic bones. Muscle mass is scored as normal or abnormal, which in turn is subdivided into mild, moderate, or severe wasting. Using a consistent scoring system, whether the five-point or the nine-point system, the veterinarian rates the patient's body condition as too thin, too heavy, or ideal. The goal for most cats and dogs is a score of 2.5 to 3 on the five-point scale and 4 to 5 on the 9-point scale. Upon completion of the screening evaluation, the veterinarian performs a physical exam. If normal, a specific dietary recommendation is made. However, if there are any abnormal findings during the examination or certain risk factors have been identified prior to this stage, an extended evaluation is done. In the third and final step, the veterinarian makes a nutritional recommendation that should include the brand name of the diet as well as the amount and frequency of feeding. A callback to ensure compliance is scheduled within 7 to 10 days if any change has been recommended. A reminder code to contact the owner is also entered into the computer for two weeks before the food runs out. Finally, the client is asked if they have any further questions. Sound nutrition is critical for optimal pet care. Our clients expect us to provide specific nutritional advice, and we need to be prepared to provide that advice at every veterinary visit.